So the final race of the season then is the Aintree Hunters Chase. It's over the Grand National Course, so Stu has declared it a park course and it's going to be commentated by me and not him so i'm going to close the season off with this one then at the top we've got norcroft mountain for james shea penny arcade alex cherry jovial apparent thomas rogers admiral Ascoli, martin Lidham, media agency and mc hammer both for ball road slaney upon for thomas rogers charlie two shoes and goldie for Stu gray timoka shoe for james shea so blats out of trouble for alex cherry and romantic liaison for ob1 so 12 of them in in this final race of the season over the grand national fences as well and away they go with sablazzo trouble the first one to show um, mc hammer and timoka shoot i a feeling the first fence is going to be the one before the chair they jump over that one that's going to be the final fence in a couple of circuits tom's going to get our bearings for all these different distances today to where we are the crowd looks like we're in the straight and i think we're going to be hitting towards the yeah, this is the fence that'll be the final fence on the next circuit so they're over that one okay then and now they're heading towards the chair and some blatso trouble and penny arcade for alex cherry showing the way to norcroft mountain and charlie two shoes and admiral oscoli in the grand national winning colors the gray as they get over that chair the other gray is goldie at the back so they'll race to the water jump in now and then they'll take the full national course minus of course the chair and the water jump again and it's a blatso trouble that's going to lead them around this turn for the last time this season so it's a blatso trouble in front then from penny arcade second then norcroft mountain and mc hammer then comes romantic liaison on the inside of slaney upon admiral Ascoli is next then charlie two shoes widest on the track jovial apparent tim oka shoe media agency and finally goldie as they make their way then towards the fence that was the first in the grand national it's the fifth today and Sablazzo Trouble It's a good four or five lengths clear on Penny Arcade and Norcroft Mountain and MC Hammer I say get to the fifth and they're all safely over it and Goldie's still the back mark of a stew grow I can't make any jokes about MC Hammer because I only know one MC Hammer song and as they take the sixth Stu made a joke about that last week so I'll be doing UK gold version of jokes. So anyway, it's a Blatso trouble in the lead from MC Hammer in second. Then Penny Arcade is third as they get over that big ditch and they're all safely over it. And wasn't there a rapper called Goldie as well? So maybe we got two rappers in this. And it's a Blatso trouble is the leader. Penny Arcade second. And then Norcroft Mountain as they get over number eight. It's a Blatso trouble in front of Penny Arcade second. Norcroft Mountain third. In MC Hammer and Media Agency, Charlie Two Shoes and Admiral Ascoli. As they're all safely over there, all jumping well at the moment, these hunters then, as they get their way down this part of the track. It's a Blatso Trouble. We'll lead them into Beaches Brook. And over it they all go, all safely over Beaches with a Blatso Trouble, the leader. Well clear of stable mate Penny Arcade in second. Media agency on the outside of that one is third as they take the Foyne Haven fence and they're all safely over that one as well with Golden Romantic Liaison still at the back. The one just started to lose its place a little bit there is Penny Arcade. As well that hit a bit, a bit of a flat spot or was given a break, I don't know. But they're coming down towards the canal turn now then and Sablazzo Trouble will take the canal in the lead. They're all safely over the canal turn with Media Agency second and MC Hammer third. Then comes Jovial Apparent Penny Arcade moving up again on the inside is after that one then the Grand Admiral Ascoli then Slaney upon as they get over Valentine's good jump there by Admiral Ascoli has seen that one jump up in a share of third with Penny Arcade who was obviously just being given a bit of a breather between those two fences over the next one they go and they're all safely over that as well and now Sir Blatso Trouble's been joined by Media Agency Admiral Ascoli and Penny Arcade then MC Hammer Charlie Two Shoes coming right around the outside over the fourth last they go and they're all safely over that one as well with well they're not Jovial Apparent has gone and it's Media Agency who's now gone into the lead. Media Agency's in front from Sablazzo Trouble in second. Then Penny Arcade over to third last they go. And coming round the outside, Charlie Two Shoes looking a big danger. Admiral Ascoli still appears to be going well but doesn't always find a 
lot under pressure. That one's a Blatso Troubles in the lead. Media Agency is second. And third place comes Norcroft Mountain. Charlie Two Shoes around the outside. Then Admiral Escoli and Penny Arcade. They're racing down towards the final four furlongs now. They've got two more fences to take in the straight. And Sir Blatso Trouble is back in front from Charlie Two Shoes. Media Agency, Norcroft Mountain. Then Penny Arcade. Going around the outside, Romantic Liaison. Admiral Escoli is starting to backtrack. Gold is running on around the outside. Then Slaney upon. I think Tomoka Shoe might be out of it over the second last they go. Sir Blatso Trouble was slow. Norcroft Mountain was quicker. Then Charlie Two Shoes. Then Penny Arcade. Then comes Media Agency. MC Hammer, Romantic Liaison. Still trying to run on. They're down towards the final fence in the final race of the season. And it's Sir Blatso Trumbull who gets over it in the lead. Sir Blatso Trumbull is clear in front, racing down towards the elbow. Sir Blatso Trumbull is well clear of stable mate Penny Arcade. Charlie Two Shoes is trying to run on, then Romantic Liaison. But Sir Blatso Trumbull is starting to tire as they come to the elbow. Sir Blatso Trumbull still leads by three. The pack are closing, but he's holding on. Penny Arcade, Romantic Liaison, slaying upon Charlie Two Shoes, Admiral Scully, but it's going to be Sir Blatso Trumbull that takes the final race of the season. Sir Blatso Trumbull takes it. Penny Arcade, Charlie Two Shoes, slaying upon gold he finished well Norcroft Mountain dropped back to be last and it's a 1-2 for Alex Cherry in the Aintree Hunter chase and he takes the last two races of the season Alex Cherry so a good season for him then Charlie Two Shoes was third and it looks like James Shea might have got a fourth and it's, it's a black so trouble for Alex Cherry the winner Penny Arcade for Alex Cherry second Charlie Two Shoes for Stu Gray was third Slaney upon for Thomas Rogers was fourth and Romantic Liaison for Obi-Wan ran on into fifth so that's the season done and dusted then and hope everybody's had an enjoyable time and we'll be back in 71 days time for another season of thrills and spills in the world of SO7